What's up nerds, Phoenix from Phoenix TV here with another Let's Try. This time I'm doing Magic Duels. Uh, it's my understanding that Magic is a card game with a lot of math. I've never actually played, I've only like seen one video ever and that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna try it out see how it is. Let's go. So after all that I'm just now allowed to actually play. Cool. Alright, let's go do the Gideon thing because whatever. Sure, you're a boy, and I get ten for beating you. Alright. I read the Irregulars, and we are justice in the slums. Oh no, not the attention of the city guards. Let's stop and play cards to decide whether or not they live or not. Some questionable storytelling on that. Okay. So, yeah. Use everything I learned to win. Uh, okay. I need to play a planes. I need the magic. Can I play more? No. Can I play you? I can. Interesting. And I'm summoning sick. So there's nothing I can do. It makes it their turn. And they have a planes. But nothing to attack with. Okay, don't show that again. I get it. Now, I have more planes. And that now allows me put out more. This thing has nothing special about it, right? Nothing special. Cool. And so I want to play this thing because I think I might can get ahead of their attack. Because they are still not summoned anything. Okay, I get it. I know about summoning sickness. And you, since you're unblockable, you will attack. Because I doubt they have anything haste this early. So I'll get a quick two points. Alright. And can I do anything else? I cannot. Alright. Planes 2. There's your first monster. A 2-2. Two, two. I got it. And you're summoning sick. So now, play another planes. And... Let's throw out another play one of you and then you as well I need two for that so I do have the one so I'll go ahead and put you out there too so I can get just as much of an assault as I can get and now on my attempt to attack what I want to do is attack with everything because they're either gonna eat five damage or they're gonna kill one and kill their blocker. Right? Right. Okay. Either way, I want as few of them on the board as I can get. They're gonna block that, which is a good choice on their end, but so I'll take two to the two to the target. And we trade out here. I mean they're both down, but I'm gonna have three up and they've gotta spawn something else in. My attack is very overwhelming. <laughs> And they get a 2-2. Two, two. Sweet. Got it. And they also get an, a 0-3. So that's purely for blocking. Great. Love to hear it. Uh, okay, so flying is unblockable. So I want to get you out there. So let's put down the plane, and I want you out there as well. All right. My only concern is that they'll. I would have to block with you, so we're all right there. And so now, what can I do to stop this three? Ah. Uh, I can't, if I attack with all three, will I kill? 
both of them? And then have an unblockable one? Uh, I don't know. Just because I'm curious and I'm not sure what they'll do, I want to attack with you and you and just see what happens. Are each going to take one? So what happens here is that the, there it goes like that. And the 2-2 two -two trades them out. Okay, I got it. Now his 3 is unaffected. Alright, I got it. So I'd have to do that in one turn. Unfortunately, they don't have anything worth using here. So what I can do is I can play you. Because you have the 3. And I can put that down there as well. And that does what? Hang on. What does that say? Uh, attacking doesn't cause him to tap. I'm absolutely going to do that then. Attack with you. Just, no, take that back. You, withdraw. But everything else, let's go for it. Let's get the two on him. This is math. Two more points. And we're done. Another planes. This time you put down a 2-2. Two, two. Okay. Uh, what? Oh. Continue. Let's go. Whatever that's supposed to be. And they did not attack. So now let's put down another one of these because they're very effective. And now, it's my understanding that if I attack with all, I'm gonna hurt them a lot. Let's just go for it. Throw five things at him. There's only so much blocking that he can stand here. Okay. directly two more an achievement for hitting them really hard sweet and they're dead and now he's gonna keep his three so okay so I lost my three attack which is nice which could have went better but he blocks at whatever pace he wants so play it And so, since I have nothing else left, I'm gonna keep hitting him. I take that back. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attack with you and with you, because you two will be fine. So attack with them and just keep the other four back there for defense. And very shortly, he will run out of life. Because he needs something to attack me with. Unfortunately, he doesn't have anything to hit either one of those, and even then I could ignore the block and just run him over. I'm going to win this one. Cool. I'm not surprised I'm going to win it, but it'd be kind of bad if I didn't. Okay, my turn. Throw that out there just because... And let's attack with everything. Put this game away. There we go. You can block as you like, but it's over. Two to the guard. Two more to the guard. Negative two. And negative four. And negative six. Cool. That's what I wanted. And Phoenix wins the game. Dang. That's a pretty easy 60 gamer score. So, uh, this game was 
relatively interesting. A little boring, and I can only imagine that the person who designed the the battlefield didn't take an incredibly long time. I'd probably be wrong, but you know, whatever. Uh, anyway, this has been Phoenix from Phoenix TV here with an interesting card game that I might play more of. Uh, as usual, this is a let's try. I don't plan to do a series with it unless you guys like it. If you guys like it, I'd be glad to play more. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching.